What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Metacom or Mafex Avengers Endgame Iron Man Mark 85 or better known as Iron Man from Endgame. This is a figure we have waited a while for and it is finally here so let's go ahead and talk about it. Starting off with that sexy packaging, as you guys can see, it is a little bit bigger of a box than usual, mostly due to all the accessories that this guy comes with. I mean, literally, look, there's loads of them in the package. You can see all of them through the window right here. You do have an image of Iron Man right there. It says Marvel Avengers Endgame, Iron Man Mark 85, Mafex number 140, and I think Thor Endgame was 149. Funny how he came out first, but whatever. You got the Avengers logo right there. Metacom toy logo right there on the side you've got an image of him doing the snap when he says and I am Iron Man the best part of the movie in my opinion or one of them there were some pretty dope parts all throughout in game but uh, anyway Avengers in game Avengers in game nothing much going on at the bottom legal stuff no one cares about image of him in battle right here and then of course on the back you got the figure in a ton of poses you can get him into as well as the accessories outlined even better so let's bust this guy open because I'm excited for this one now straight out of the package man I gotta say it is crazy to think that I believe, what, four years later, we're still getting Avengers in-game figures? And not to say that I have a problem with that. It is worth the wait when they're good figures. But man, it's just so crazy to think that this movie is still having figures produced by companies. And I mean, better late than never, but we still got the Doctor Strange, which just shipped. And then of course, they haven't even released the Captain Marvel. And I think they also are making Loki. I don't remember if that's from Infinity War or Avengers. I don't remember which one it's from, but still, man, they are dropping these figures. Now, I know you're wondering why I have Captain America and Thor standing next to this guy. And it's just to show how good these figures look together i had to show them off in that trio pose so here they are anyway let's go ahead and take a up close look at iron man so as weird as it may be to say this is pretty much my dream looking iron man figure like i really love how saturated the reds and the golds are and i'm talking about look wise per se just right now i love how everything about this figure just really pops like i've seen photographs of this guy he does look a bit oversaturated in some photos but having it in hand i don't know man this guy just has like a a, a pearly finish to him which i know that doesn't make sense at all uh but yeah i don't know how to explain it this thing just looks really nice the way the light hits it just makes this figure look so beautiful man and that's on top of all the detail that's put into it now i will say mine definitely has some problems there's a little scratch mark right here on the head i don't know what that's about um, but it's not too bad honestly that's one i can ignore one i can't ignore is this silver chip right here in the red i don't know what's up with that man I don't like that at all. I paid too much for this figure for there to be paint splotches and paint chipping. Uh, I don't like that. I haven't seen anything else on here that looks off, but I did want to outline that just because it is something that I noticed. And once again, for what I paid, that's not really cool, man. Uh, there is a small one right here, barely noticeable. You guys probably can't even see it. So um, yeah, but this figure, man, it, it has a different feel to it. And that's an obvious thing, considering the fact that it's a guy in armor. It's not like their usual figures, but it's, it's definitely a different type of plastic. I've heard some people say that it feels cheap. It doesn't feel cheap to me. It just feels different. I've never received a an Iron Man from Moffat. So I really didn't know what to expect in terms of the plastic quality. It doesn't feel like it's as good of quality as the... Uh, I don't know the armored Batman per se I really wish it was but at the same time who knows how that would have worked articulation wise uh, overall man I really just like the look of this figure from head to toe in my opinion it looks perfect this is easily my go-to Iron Man figure already and um 
that logo also man i really love that that blue logo on his chest and i know it's not a logo it's uh what summons his outfit it's attached to him i don't remember what it's called i'm not the biggest iron man fan okay but um i, I like that a lot that blue added to the reds and golds just makes this thing look so good uh, overall it's a beautiful looking figure and that much i can say for sure now for the height of this guy to the top of his head as you guys can see he's just shy of six and a half inches which is pretty much what we've been seeing with all of the recent mofex releases uh it makes sense uh it's a little bit bigger than shf but not quite domestic size and i'm okay with that this is the line i collect so i'm used to my figures being about this size now articulation wise, this is normally where Mofex excels uh, on top of accessories as well. But let's see how they do. In terms of looking up, he looks up just fine. You can get those flying Iron Man poses no problem and I'm all for that. I really like the detail in the neck also. You can see they sculpted a lot of extra detail in there which I mean they should but I just like the way that looks. Uh, he looks down only about that much, not as much as I think he should be able to. You can almost get the chin to touch the chest, but not quite. There's a little bit of a gap in there. Of course, he does get tilt and turn very, very well, so that's no problem. Uh, moving on down to the arms, this is where my first problem comes in. I believe on the SHF version, they sculpted these shoulder pieces into the arm itself, so you didn't have these flaps or anything moving around. So in terms of moving his arms out, that's about as much as you get, unless you rotate it around and you do it that way, which I mean, it works. You can still get those flying poses and everything, but the problem is that they kind of hinge and well, they do hinge. And so they might not stick to the arm. That's the only problem I have. I don't really care for that. I wish they would have done it the same way as the SHF. Also, I've had problems with these before popping off and breaking. Uh, one of the figures I have in mind is the uh, Justice League. The, um, I can't think, Aquaman. I don't know why my brain went blank for a second. But um, yeah, I had that issue with the shoulder pieces on him and probably a couple of other figures. I don't remember. So I don't, I don't know. I don't like this. But I mean, it does work. And as you guys can see, it did just pop off. That actually came off very easy. I wasn't even trying to do that. But uh, yeah, it does come off. Uh, you do have a bicep swivel. You do have double jointed elbows that work very well uh hands are on a hinge you can move them around pretty freely uh much better than i would have thought actually let me fix these arms that's bothering me but um yeah you can move the hands around just fine torso doesn't move bad at all um he leans back only about that much and let me drop the arm so you can see it better uh that's not too bad i can't say that's bad he he leans back very well as far as going forward he even leans forward better than I would have thought. And let me put that head down there for you guys can see it. That's awesome, especially coming just out of the diaphragm joint. Uh, now, as far as the waist, you can use that to maneuver him around as well. So this guy can get a ton of movement. One thing I want to say is be careful. Uh, I haven't seen it happen, but I feel like this is the type of figure you can get paint rub on. So just be careful. Be wary of that. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but I do feel like just this type of plastic, it is subject to happen. As far as kicking, he can kick out no problem. Uh, he can kick back um, and that I was not expecting, but I'm keeping it in the video. That is strange right there. Um, plugs back on. So that's a good thing, but still, I don't like that. And it just came off again. I don't think I put it on entirely. Let's see if it does it again. There we go. Uh, it's still loose. That is very loose. Uh, I could pull that off if I want to. I don't, I don't know about that. That does not make me happy at all. Uh, it stays on, but still, it's, it's looser than I want it to be. It is only one leg. It's not both. So, um... I guess that's a plus, but you guys might not have that problem. I'm just outlining it because it happened. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel. He does have double jointed knees that work pretty well. Foot goes down about that much, even including this piece right here that looks like it would hinder it. Actually, this piece is on a hinge, so you can move that back and forth. 
that's uh, pretty interesting. That's cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, you can move his foot back and forward. Uh, not much ankle rocker. It is there, but very, very little. And then he does also have a toe hinge. So articulation wise, I mean, he moves very well. So I can't complain about that. The joints are a little bit looser than I would like for them to be. That is one problem I have with this guy. The figure, uh, it just feels like it kind of moves around. Now, you already saw what happened with my right leg, but um, this figure just feels like the more I pose it, it will get loose. Now, when it comes to accessories, you guys already know the Mofex gods never disappoint. They always go all out. He does come with the neutral helmet head, as we saw when I pulled the figure out of the package. He comes with a head with the helmet up, and he comes with a head that is fully unmasked. And I do want to show this off because this looks really dang good, man. Um, I like this a lot. This actually looks like robert downey jr i like that a whole lot in my opinion they killed the shf version with this this looks so dang good i'm talking hair sculpt and all this just looks so dang good the beard uh i like this i like this way way more anyway uh when it comes to the hands he comes with two fist hands two grabbing hands two relaxed hands two hands with pegs in them and then two open palm hands without pegs he does come with these i don't know what you call them i'm just gonna call them the crab claws he comes with a hand that he is using Basically, his version of the Infinity Gauntlet, which looks really dang good. He comes with a snapping finger for the Infinity Gauntlet. This looks awesome as well. So glad they included this. Accessories like this that other companies leave out. This is the type of stuff that just makes me really happy when it comes to Mofex. It shows why they are superior in certain categories. Anyway, he comes with uh, this sword looking effect, which is also cool. He comes with his backpack. I don't know what the heck this is. I just know he shoots a ton of blasts out of it. And this looks really good. You just pretty much peg it onto the back. He does come with uh, four different blast effects, uh, two larger ones and then two smaller ones. And then he does also come with his shield. So tons of accessories. As always, they never skip out. Now, when it comes to exchanging out his accessories, everything is pretty much easily detachable. Um, I already put on the hand with the gauntlet, as you guys can see. And I mean, it's not something that I am going to keep changing out. I'm probably just going to keep it like this because you can actually swap on the regular hands to this hand that's mint or this forearm that's meant for the infinity gauntlet uh the only difference is you have a little bit of gold right there and it's not on this one uh other than that it looks the exact same it's not such a noticeable difference to where i feel like i have to keep changing it out so i'm just going to keep it that way now all you have to do and let's see if i can do this on camera i always pull these off just to be on the safe side but uh you just kind of pinch right here and then you slowly pull. Now, mind you, I'm trying to do this on camera for you guys to see. So, uh, there we go. Got it. Not a problem. Uh, I still don't like that too much. I'm probably not going to be swapping these out a lot. But uh, anyway, if you want to put these on, you just kind of peg them in there. And I'm not going to do it just because I'm prone to breaking things on camera. And I don't want that. This figure is way too expensive so yeah we're just gonna keep it that way i just wanted to show you guys how to do it now uh where'd that shoulder piece go i don't know it probably went somewhere anyway um as far as the back piece it doesn't have any peg holes or anything like the shf in fact all you do pull it right off not a problem you grab this piece and then you just line it up and boom pegs right in there and that looks excessive, but really good. And uh, unlike the SHF, these are not articulated. So on that version, you could kind of move these around and you could take all these pieces off and attach stuff. You can't do that with this guy. This accessory is pretty much just for show this time around. And I'm okay with that. With the SHF, it was a little bit too much for me. It was cool that they included it, but I never used any of that extra stuff. 
Now moving right along to those size comparisons, I am just going to do a ton of MCU stuff, mostly SHF and Mafex. No Marvel Legends this time around, just because I didn't feel like getting any of that out. But here he is standing next to the in-game Captain America from Mafex, the Mafex in-game Thor, which I just reviewed. Go check that out if you haven't already. And then the SH Figuarts first release, Thanos. And I feel like these all scale very well. Now here's where things get a little bit crazy. Here he is standing next to his road dog partner in crime or the Robin to his Batman. We have him next to the Mafex Spider-Man from Spider-Man Homecoming. This is the very first release and I hope they give us another version of this just because I really like this costume and I feel like they could give us a better figure. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, here he also is standing next to the SH Figuarts Nick Fury who is completely out of scale with him but come on now sh figure arts and scale are not words that should be used in the same sentence together it just shouldn't happen and then lastly we do have him standing next to the sh figure arts uh infinity war hulk one of these hulks i don't know uh but yeah he is towering over all of them as he should and lastly, here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Avengers Infinity War Black Panther, the SH Figure Arts Movie Black Widow, and the SH Figure Arts, I don't know, Guardians of the Galaxy Quill or Star-Lord. I don't remember which one. Now, for my final thoughts on this figure, this is one I have to say that is really, really good. But the plastic quality is a little bit disappointing. As I said, this is Mafex coming back and taking another crack at an Iron Man figure after who knows how long it's been since they've made one. Now, not to say that it's a bad figure in terms of the quality. It's just not up to that SH Figuarts quality just yet. Now, everyone knows Mafex uses pretty cheap plastic anyway. Uh, if you don't, then you should. Their plastic quality just isn't the same as most import companies. Um, pick up one and compare it to an SHF or to a Figma, and you'll know exactly what I mean if you start fiddling around with them. So um, that's probably the only issue other than the fact that I don't like the shoulders. That's a personal dislike. Um, I do feel like it was a good idea to at least make them pop on and off easily. Um, and I say that because it means they're less prone to breaking. Like the, the Aquaman I had, those broke. I don't feel like these are going to break. I just feel like they might get annoying sometimes and pop off, but I'd rather joints pop off than break. So I'm not going to complain about that too much. I don't like the paint scuffs that I have on mine or paint chips, whichever, uh, that kind of sucks, but they are small. So everything's not going to be perfect. It's just the fact that I paid a crazy price for this. I think this figure went for like 120 or something like that. I don't remember. And then if you ordered it domestically, then psh, you're probably paying 160 170 and I don't know I just don't like that but overall it's a dope figure I really enjoy it he looks damn good man this is probably the best looking MCU Iron Man figure to date in my opinion I just really like the way the colors pop I like the head sculpts I like the accessories um, and overall I just really enjoy what they did with this guy he poses fine um, and I really couldn't ask for more other than those small imperfections that I have now there is another Iron Man figure coming out. I don't remember what mark it is. I don't know any of that. I'll probably show a picture or something like that. But um, yeah, so if you're thinking about passing on this one, you do have a chance at getting another Iron Man figure in case you missed out on this one. Now, when is it coming out? I have no idea. But um, yeah, overall, it's a decent figure. I, I do really, really like it. And the fact that I have Captain America and Thor to go with him, it's only going to increase my enjoyment. So overall, I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And lastly, Follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye.